The president bet the House on his primetime health care speech, and in some areas, he's cashing in, according to the new CBS News poll. 42% say he has clearly explained his plan, up from 33% last week. And for those who watched the speech, it surged to 58%. The president still has a lot of explaining to do, though, on some specifics. One example, he spent a lot of time arguing that everyone will benefit from health reform, even those who already have insurance. What this plan will do is make the insurance you have work better for you. But he wasn't very convincing. According to the poll, only 22 percent of Americans believe reform will help them personally. Even among those who watched the speech, only 31 percent think it will help. 27 percent say it will hurt. 39 percent say it won't have any effect. One of the president's key points was that his plan will not increase the deficit over the next 10 years. I will not sign a plan that adds one dime to our deficits. But 52% of Americans say it's impossible to expand health care coverage without increasing the deficit. Only 42% say it is possible. Many fiscally conservative Democrats in Congress whose votes are essential to the president are also still skeptical. In order to get my support, uh, the president's going to have to convince me that the, and the, with the numbers uh, that it's not going to add one penny to the deficit. The president says most of his plan will be paid for by reducing waste and inefficiency in Medicare and Medicaid, but he still hasn't provided specifics. The president is also proposing automatic spending cuts just in case his plan does add to the deficit, but those kinds of automatic cuts have been routinely ignored by Congress in the past. Katie? Chip Reed reporting from the White House tonight. Thank you.